Okay, welcome back to the show, folks. Gregory Bilby. Gregory, girls. So you want to do a? You want to go ahead and let's get a shout out okay. to our to our viewers. My mom. Your mom. Greg's mom. She doesn't have cable. Sorry. <laughs> uh, well, actually, <laughs> Marcy and Wagner. I'm going to dedicate this show to you, baby. And uh, my good buddy Justin Kohai in Edmond. Gonna hey, I'm glad you're watching here on, via the web. And what's the address again? Uh, www.intv.me. There we go. Jennifer, hey Red, Jennifer and Guthrie, how you doing? And don't forget our good friend, Suze in uh, the Gibson of Fort, there Fort we go. Gibson. And to my friend Ina, hello, Ina in Germany. Yeah, and we also have some people down in uh, in Austin, Texas, watching us. Clint Hoffmeister, Carla Rogers, yo, and some folks out in LA. And we got a, we got a couple of viewers down in uh, Orlando, Florida. So with the addition of this this uh, this Germany fan, I guess this shows uh, we're worldwide, international. Hey, we're like ZZ Top. We're bad and nationwide. Yeah, minus the beards. <laughs> so today, folks, you know, early in the show, I said we're gonna have him on, and we were gonna talk famous people, but I didn't really kind of see what that meant. So, Greg, what do we got? Uh, first off, we're gonna talk about a famous person in Tahlequah or a famous duo, Bicycle Johnny, the Bicycle Brothers. You know, and I remember the, those guys. And the shirt I'm wearing is the yep, famous one. I've is, got one of those. Yeah. Does it have the direction is more important than speed logo? You can get those down at Hearts. Mm -hmm. uh, they have the the t-shirts there, Hearts. So go check them out. He was actually our kind of our unofficial mascot for free when it came to town in 2001, and we were voted best town on the route of Tahlequah. The cyclists loved really? us. Oh yeah. Well, we have a few uh, cycle uh, events coming to to Tahlequah. Um, this summer, so cool, we're yeah. keeping that tradition cool. alive. Now our mascot's the homeless guy that <laughs> talks to himself. I'm such a jerk, but that's push -ups. it seems like well, I mean, you know, it's like one kind of homeless person for another. But hey, I'm fine with it. I don't care. I lived in Austin for a number of years, and their mascot's a cross-dressing homeless guy, <laughs> Leslie. What's up? I'm not kidding you. He got he ran for mayor and got like a number, a few thousand votes. He finished like third or fourth. Oh jeez. So let's get this going. Who do we got? And I brought back one of your all-time favorites, Mindy Hart. Yeah. Yeah. The letter we had a couple episodes. Not ago. Corey Hart, but Corey Hart's mom. His mother, Mindy Hart. So yeah, I knew you'd love that. <laughs> I still love it. Best <laughs> artifact we've had. All three seasons. Uh, here's this. It's supposed to be an autograph by Ben Stein. You remember him as Bueller. 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 And he also had a show for a while called Win Ben Stein's Money. So that's his supposed autograph. Met him in Oklahoma City and he was just blazing through. So Yeah. So I, I think that's him. Um, also, Bill Nye, the science guy. Hey, yeah. looky there. We're at a Red Hawks game and he got his autograph on a ticket stub, but I didn't have a Sharpie, so it came through kind of. Was he pretty cool? Yeah, he was all right. He was all right. He uh, he's a big baseball fanatic, and we he tied him with part of us for when I worked for O Daughter Oklahoma Keep Our Land Grand campaign. He came down and did some speaking. Oh, cool. Uh, Bill Nye. Then I brought probably one of your favorites. I know this will make your heart skip a beat. Shara Kimiko, Fox 23. Shara Kimiko. Oh. Yes. Fox 23 news anchor, news babe, and soon to be viewer and fan of INTV. I'm going to email her and make sure. And I need another autograph. Mine's kind of faded. Greg, you rock, miss you, and on the back it says, Greg, we miss you here, you make my heart skip to me. I will take Shara Kamiko to Olive Garden if she wants to go. <laughs> I'm going to hold my breath until that happens, <laughs> so when I pass out, call the ambulance. Anyway, Shara, you, you are a <clears throat> nice. good looking gal. Nice. I'm going to be very nice and, and very gentle. And she's a sweetie. She's, she's a sweetie. I, uh, I shot her the devil horns uh, from the crow's nest filming the 2007 Christmas parade here in Tahlequah. I said, Shara Kamiko rocks! And she went, yeah. So I'm like, all right, she's cool. <laughs> she's, she's hot. Mm -hmm. And she's cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, kind of like a McDLT, hot and cool. She's the perfect woman. There we go. And now I'm probably creeping her out now, so let's move on. <laughs> All right. This one is one of my favorites. Uh, I refer to this photo as my wife and I posing with her boyfriend. So there you go. And it is the one and only Garth Brooks. The Garth man. Yeah, the super Garth nice man. guy. And funny story is, and I can't find the ticket that he autographed for me. Ran into him at Osaka Steakhouse on my birthday. Mm -hmm. And I have it hidden away so well I couldn't find it. But anyway, I got the picture. And my wife and I are sitting there. And we look over and I'll tell her and say, that fat guy kind of looks like Garth Brooks. And I look and I say, man, that fat guy kind of, you know, and we're doing triple takes and he walks over and says, hi, I'm Garth Brooks, who are you? Shot the breeze with us, took this picture. 
Um, he was there with his family, and then when we sat down to eat, he walked up behind me after he left, slapped me on the back, said, hey, Greg, happy birthday. See you around, buddy. And everybody's like, oh. said, yeah, I know Garth. Yeah, let's give a shout out to our new fan, Garth Fat Guy. <laughs> That's the story. I know, but he's a nice people. Uh, said they've gone to him at Taco Bell, Kmart. Yeah, all around nice. I've guy. heard that about him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I threw up in a toilet that he used to uh, uh, use in 1997. That's a true story. And '94, I used to. I was a theater student at UCO, and uh, Stillwater had the big theater festival that went on in '94, and, and then in '97, and there was a little house that said Garth and Sandy used to live here, and uh, I got drunk and threw up in one of their toilets. <laughs> So that's my connection to Garth. Uh, there you Garth go. Yeah, What's you up, Garth? Just like this. That toilet flushed good, <laughs> man. And moving on with Cowboys, I have this gentleman I met here, Mr. Shote Webster. He autographed it. He was an all-around. He was a Cowboys cowboy. He he steer wrestled. He wrote. Yeah. I mean, kind of like Jim steer wrestled. Steer wrestled. Wrestled. Kind of like Jim Shoulders of his time. Super uh, super nice guy. I met him at the. Uh, Restaurant, the Cherokees, he was talking, they introduced, like, who is this? And he said, Shote Webster, and me and a buddy were like, Shote Webster? Because he was, he was this buddy of mine used to rodeo, so I got his autograph one. Cowboy boots. You're not, you never rodeoed, Greg? A little bit. I did, a, this Indian used to rodeo a little bit. I cowboyed up, so I did. I sucked at it, but I tried, yeah. Had a, had a horse and the <laughs> Bull riding Indian, <laughs> no, Greg no. Bilby. No, uh, we, that's another different story. My cousin and yeah. I thought we wanted to be bull riders, and my dad broke us of that. <laughs> we were I just don't know kids. why anybody, but actually they say the clown's the most dangerous job, mm -hmm. but I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't really know. I think the guy on the bull's got the worst gig in the house. Anyway, what else we got? Uh, I thought you might like this one, Congressman J.C. Watts. Well, I liked what he did for the uh, University of Oklahoma. I certainly uh, would never have voted for him, but <laughs> but that's cool. No, he was a, he uh, he had a great play in the I think it was the 1980 Orange Bowl versus Florida State. He had a nice little pitch, and that uh, it was a close game, and he was instrumental in, in OU pulling out that bowl victory. Boy, you're just like a. Just a we play lesson. Florida State. Well, we play Florida State in our non-conference schedule next year in Norman. So, mm -hmm. it's the rematch of the 2000. Um, so, if you want to buy tickets, game. go to www.int. No, because no, no. <laughs> if I can't get them, nobody else can get them. Not at our website. So, another OU tie. Thought you might like this one, Rocky Thomas. Cool. Yes. Met him at a local grocery store, and he was autographing. So I got his. his you know, name. we have our own OU legend that lives here in town, Mike Skinner. Oh yes, yes. He's he's a husky. Lad, he's not. He's not tiny. No, he's no. not the kind of guy I want to get into a tango with. Exactly. Or a rumba. Or a rumba. Or anything. <laughs> but he is a Jinx product, and he's one of a handful of Jinx that went on to play professionally. Drafted by the Titans, I believe, in yeah. 02. Played a little bit with the Colts. Great linebacker for no, us. He won all sorts of awards in the Big 12. Butkus Award. Uh, just the list goes on. Yeah, he on. started off as a running back at Jinx. Yeah, and he, then yeah, running back moved, and to, uh, moved to linebacker mm -hmm. exclusively when he uh, when Bob Stoop said, hey, this guy can hit. Mm -hmm. Let's have him do that. Yep. Yep. Great guy. And what uh, we got? Uh, Wynton Marcellus. I got to see him in Tulsa when he was with the Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra. He signed this little sticker doohickey hey, that cool. came in a CD and he autographed it here. Super, super nice guy. Um, after the concert, he went to a reception. He went in and announced, I got to go see my fans. And so he made his round, shook hands, come out and spent probably 30 to 45 minutes talking to kids. Uh, my brother was in high school at the time, my youngest brother. And he autographed and said, hey, stay in school, study, don't do drugs, keep playing, keep practicing. Wonderful, wonderful person. Yeah, he came and played the jazz lab here um, in the 90s at some point, I think like 94, 95. So he's been he's been here in Tahlequah. Yeah, but like I said, he before. was a, a great celebrity, kind of like Garth Brooks, just super nice yeah. to get along with. Not like I'm high and mighty, but you know, great memory scene. It's him. nice to see people that have had uh, success over the years and built a name for themselves be really cool. You know, kind of like Shara Kamiko. <laughs> Future Hall of Fame INTV viewer. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shara, Shara. And uh, I've got, uh, and you can't tell, this is just scribbled, but it's Torrance Marshall and Josh Heupel what? from, uh, and, but this is the book that the Oklahoman put out about Bob Stoops. Now I'm in it. There we go. Here's the picture right here. That's me when I worked at, uh, Frontier City as a gunfighter, and it was Bob Stoops' first year as the head coach. He hadn't even coached a game yet, and uh, and they came down and did their big photo shoot. Uh, they, every year they have like a football preview, and it usually has a theme. And th that year it was there's a new sheriff in town. 